Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So this is an interesting blank screen, isn't it? Let's uh, add some stickers onto it so that we can have a look <laughs> and see what the video might be about. Yeah, it's that time of year where I'm just going to get my Halloween stuff out and start having a look what I've already done and start getting things put up. Um, I have got my autumn things more or less put up at the moment. Uh, there's still a couple of bits that I need to get down um, and unpacked and have a look at those. Uh, but I thought I'd just have a quick look through my Halloween stuff. Uh, canvases I nearly said stickers then because I'm looking at stickers oh dear it's gonna be one of those videos uh, and just see what I have got um to already put up so we have oh dear this one was hang on this one I did for one of the first uh, drills and chills events that I did and to be honest it looks a lot better on camera than it does in real life it is really really dark i just feel as though i need to go into uh, photoshop and just adjust the brightness on it somehow so that you can actually see it better it's a cat here black cat with the moon in the background and he's like got a broomstick here next to him and actually looking in the camera that's showing up really really well um I mean, even with the glare sort of from the light behind me, it, it is showing up in real life. It just looks like a black splodge, to be honest. You really have to go close to see it. So I was quite disappointed with that one, um, but it is a couple of years old now. So it may or may not make an appearance this year on the Halloween display. Uh, this one was also a Jerrells and Chills one. This is a square canvas and it's a true 30 by 30 and it's the skull in a tree. And I think these are supposed to be gravestones with hands coming out the bottom um, of the sort of gravestones down there. There's quite a set of them. I think I've got two of them and I've got another one that I was supposed to do last year and didn't get done. Oh yeah, and the story of my life and I do apologise. But life gets in the way sometimes, so that one will probably go up because I do like that picture. Albeit with it being a true 30 by 30, it doesn't fit in any of my magnetic frames because they're all uh, 25 by 25 and 30, uh, sorry, 25 by 35. So it doesn't quite fit in those frames, but I might put it on mount board this year and put it on the wall as is. Or I might do a bit bigger piece of mount board. Um, and just put an edging round it, maybe put a sparkly edging or something round it or some Halloween washi tape, that would be quite good. Uh, Mike Anderson from his YouTube channel um, has got some fantastic skeleton uh, you, uh, washi tape so yeah, um, I'll put a link, well my, a link to Mike is down in my description anyway if you want to go and check out his channel. And then that's one I did last year, which is a trick or treat. This is only, I think, 25 by 20. It was only a small picture, a round one to do. Was it round? Yeah, it is round. I had to double check then. My eyes were playing me up. And uh, yeah, I just like that one. That's like your little happy gonk there with the spider and the moon in the background and his trick or treat bag. So yeah, and he's got his wand. So he's going to put a spell on you if you don't get, give him a treat. Ah, that's one of my other um, skull ones. That one does fit into my magnetic frames because, as I've said before, when I do a new display, I've got like a little set of um, magnetic frames in my like diamond painting corner that I use. Uh, at Christmas, it just goes to pot because I just use the whole whole room. But uh, when it's just mini displays, then I, I just um, use my magnetic frames. So, you know, I just literally swap them in and out. I thought that one was quite spooky. That one's got hands coming out and pumpkins. And it's just the eyes on that one that make me go, woo! <laughs> That's another one I did last year, which is a special drill one. Oh, my goodness. And I just love it. It's just so spooky. It's a pumpkin man. Whoa. <laughs> And then that one, I absolutely fell in love with that one as well. Uh, it's got uh, all the um, green AB crystals going all the way around uh, the canvas, around the picture. And then the ends are just little marquees, sort of like dripping from the ends of the cape. And I just love it. I think it's fantastic. You can get that one in full drill as well, but I just love the special drill and all the sparkle. Um, sorry, I'm not taking these out of the pages, am I? But you will get to see them once I've done my display. I will show you. This was year before last, yep, yeah. and the orangey coloured ones, the sorry, yellowy coloured ones are actually glowing in the dark. 
In fact, I think this one might have had two glow in the darks on it because I got this one and then another one that was uh, in landscape size as well. So, yeah, I've got those to get out yet. Uh, I just love that one leaf just hanging there, look, just to give you that little bit of extra detail. And, uh, yeah, that's quite a mean looking pumpkin, isn't it there? So, yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> got it in here i thought because i've actually got now i've got um display folders that are actually uh portrait uh, sorry uh, that are actually landscape style as well as the portrait ones so i've been putting my uh, landscape ones into there but i've not actually moved that one across yet so again that one's got orange glow in the dark drills on it and uh, it's very spooky let's see if we can that's better look you can see that one now with the hat on and the candles burning so yeah very very spooky that one I like that one and these are the ones that i've already done in previous years apart from the ones that i've still got to do so oh and i've got that one as well i finished that one i think yeah i did that one in my 30 by 40 challenge um and that one is like spooky starry night so it's the starry night canvas with the pumpkins and then I've added some AB gems and I can't remember uh, if I put glow in the darks on this one or not but that one will be going up as well because I thought that was quite good. I've actually got a starry night and um, just a basic starry night well a plain starry night which I'm just trying to think well, I th that one's got glow in the dark drills on it as well I think. Yeah, it has. It's got glow in the dark drills on it. Um, I've got that one in the place where this one will be going. So this is like going to replace that one. So that's good. So, yeah, I have a separate folder for all my Halloween canvases and I have a separate folder for all my Christmas canvases. And then I've just got my Easter ones, I think, in the back here as well. Um, oh, that was a special drill one. That's a bunny. And then I've got a lot of bunnies. So I've just put them in my generic ones because I don't like to just put my bunnies out. And then I think this was one that I did this year as well. <laughs> so I do know some diamond painting. Um, yeah, it's just that uh, I don't very often keep them. Um, a lot of the time they do get gifted out to people. Right, let me just go and get my box because I have a box full of Halloween stuff as well. Because I need to have a look through there because that's got all the projects and bits in it back in a sec okay so i have this huge plastic box that is absolutely full of halloween stuff um and i think this is all of it i've tried to sort of put everything together so we'll have a quick look as we go through I'm sure the non-diamond painting stuff as well as the diamond painting stuff so you can have a look at all of it so this is the gorgeous wreath that uh, if uh, you've been with me a while, well, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hello, thanks for stopping by. Uh, and yeah, my friend who has Lottie Lou, the little Shih Tzu Terrier that we look after, Millie's little friend, uh, Millie is our Scottish Terrier, uh, she brought me all this all the way back from America in a suitcase. And it's like a Halloween um, themed wreath. So I will be getting this put up this year. Unfortunately, she went sort of November last year. Well, she came back in November, so it didn't go up last year. So it will be going up this year. Just wants a little bit of a tweaking out because it's got a little bit flattened. And it's got this fantastic witch's broomstick on it look as well. So I might have to get something to sit on there. Maybe a little gonk or something to sit on there. And we'll get that hung up somewhere. So yeah, excellent. Okay, so that's that one. I've then got all these light up witches hats which uh, myself and hubby and uh, millie all wore one last year just trying to find the ones that we wore oh i must have had the hot pink one on surely did i yeah did not see it's still light up oh yes they're still light up look so you put them on they've got like a little piece of ribbon and a little faux buckle on there and uh, yeah quite good fun so i've got those they're actually for like hanging from trees you know you would just hang it and um, they've all got the little hangers on there at the top look and you would just hang it from a tree so you've got light up witches hats but we wore them what can i say <laughs> i think i've got a set of six of those they were a really good price um we've got a hubby uh, got 
I don't think he'll get in this now, but he's got this black uh, long sleeved t shirt look with the rib cage on it, and then it's got all the bones down the arms as well. So he's got that. So that's yeah, really good. Uh, we've got this, which was Hubby's. Um, he used to drive around with it like, with on the headrest of his car and frighten people to death as we were driving past. <laughs> Naughty, I know, don't advocate it at all. Um, and he did also wear it when he went to hospital. Um, when he was in rehab, when he was in rehab, um, he used to play tricks on the nurses because obviously he was there a long time. I think he was in there about three months. And uh, yeah, it was Halloween while he was in there. So this will have been 2019. Uh, and I went to one of the nurses, oh, there's something the matter with Paul. Can you come and have a look? And she comes running through and Paul's laid there wearing this made her jump out of her skin but anyway she did find the funny side of it she had a really good sense of humor so yeah we do like to dress up and then we've got our hats oops oh i've got all my little tea lights look i got these last year they're just little pumpkin tea lights i think they were from amazon i used um a vipon coupon to get those cheap i have got a few missing it was a bigger set um but uh, I think a few little kiddie winks may have got one of those each. And then Hubby's got a nice hat look with a buckle on it. And then this is my hat because we did used to go out on like ghost hunts and things. And I've got like a cat mask on the front of my hat as well. So a little bit steampunky. We've done uh, quite a bit of dressing up with these. We do. Uh, well, we did used to have a bit of fun going out. And then that's my purple long haired wig, which I've worn a couple of years as well. So there you are. <laughs> Just a little sneak peek into the uh, Harrison household. Uh, these are hang up ghosts that hang from trees. They're like wind socks. So yeah, I've got these little end there and the wind just blows through. Uh, again, I think they were a Vipon Coupon. I think the hats were a Vipon Coupon as well. So. To be honest, I forget what I've got. This is why I need to get everything out before I then start decorating again. Otherwise, I start duplicating stuff and I don't know what I've got. Ah, this is also something that came back from uh, America with my friend, Lottie's mum. And uh, yeah, it's Charlie Brown Trick or Treat, a nice doormat. So I will get that out. Actually, she's coming uh, this week because we're going to have our hair done and then we're going to be looking after Lottie again for a few days. So, yeah, I'm going to get that out to see if she remembers buying it. <laughs> but, yeah, bringing these home in a suitcase from America. But uh, it was very much appreciated. Um, and she certainly knows me. I do like these sort of things. Oh, just found another little light-up pumpkin as well. This was one of my favourite things that I did last year. Um, if you want the details, let me know. It has been sealed, but it's a little hanging sign with a cat on the bottom and a skull and a pumpkin and uh, then it says happy halloween and it's got string on it i don't think it had string i think i added the string because i thought with it being the wooden ones it looked more rustic having like the garden twine the string on it and i believe that the cat had red eyes and red teeth and i changed those out and I changed the skull into A, B white drills rather than just the plain. And the writing um, is A, B drills as well rather than just plain. I have got completion reviews on these and unboxings on these as well. But I just thought you might like to see what I've already got before I start this shears. Um, well, before I continue with the shears. Uh, oh, I've got my little gnome. I think I've taken the battery out of this one. Yes, I have. So he's underneath his little spooky tree. Look, this is more of an autumn one, isn't it? Sadly, I did break it because I dropped it and uh, it cracked the corner off there. But I have still got the corner. I need to now find it because I've put it in a safe place. Um, but yeah, so we've got a very surprised spider there. We've got something, possibly a spider that's thinking, who on earth is that asleep under my tree? And we've got a very... Uh, unhappy owl there look that's sort of saying well what are you doing there can you move or maybe he's snoring and they're just not quite happy with his snoring but it's double-sided as well and it was one of those where you build it with the little stanchions in it and uh, yeah it does light up so he will be going back out i think i broke him because he fell over because he's not got a very solid base um he's quite top heavy-ish you know with uh, 
not being very wide at the bottom so i might just put some bits of blue tack or something on the bottom of him to stand him so that he doesn't cockle over this year but yeah that was good fun to do i enjoyed that one got some more signs and stickers i think these were christmas uh, christmas halloween before last they have all been sealed as well so if you're wondering um if the sparkle dulls at all from being sealed well this one will be two years now since it was sealed and that is still very sparkly these are like the foamy um style signs rather than acrylic uh, which are one of my favorites i like the wooden ones but i find that these are a lot lighter to hang up um, because the foam's not quite as uh, heavy as the wood, obviously. Liz, just state the obvious, why don't you? Um, so, yeah, that was a slightly strange colours for Halloween, but it does got a hot pink on it, so I was quite happy with it. This one I love. We're back to the uh, mask again, look, the screen mask. And I just love the spooky uh, skeleton arms coming out here, look. Ooh it's trick or treats uh, and they did come with the little cord i've just tied a knot in that cord because it was too long for where i wanted it to hang so it's something you can do you can do that with chains as well um you know if you've got the little hanging chains you can always just tie a knot in it if you don't want it to be quite as long uh, and hang down quite so much but i like the color palette on that one as well and then these are the other two stickers that I've got. So these have actually been on the wall, um, taken off the wall and put back onto the little carrier sheets because these were up last year. So as you can see, they're still plenty sticky. Um, you know, they'll stick up again this year. And when I finish this year, they'll come back onto these little sheets. So that's that one. And then this one, um, if you possibly saw it again, these are all in... Um, all in my videos, all in my playlists from last year. Uh, this one, they missed the N off for some reason. So it's Happy Halloween. So I put this one on the toilet door downstairs. <laughs> or cloakroom door. Sorry, I shouldn't say the toilet door, should I? It's the cloakroom door. Um, so, yeah, it's a Happy Halloween. <laughs> and then I've got, now this is the one that I needed to get out. This is my Autumn Gonks. So this one should have been out uh, in sort of end of September, beginning of October. These are the pre-framed ones from the range. Yeah, these are the ones from the range. They also do a Christmas one and an Easter one as well, which I've gotten done. So that one was done last year. So that one will be going up. And then we got the Halloween one as well. Yay! So that one will go up um, possibly at the end of this week. Once I've got all my autumn ones up, then I'll start doing my Halloween ones and get them out. But again, it was pre-framed. And I think there's something like £7.99 there. So for £7.99 for a pre-framed canvas and you get to sit and do it, I just, uh, yeah, really enjoyed doing these. Great fun and, uh, yeah, really happy little paintings. And then finally, just two of my Craft Buddy wreaths. Uh, this is the Squirrel Autumn one, which again needs to go up, which is just totally my colours. Absolutely love it. All autumn colours with your little scruffle off squirrel sat down here in the corner. That Actually, I don't think this one was Craft Buddy, um, but Craft Buddy do sell it as a wooden one, as an MDF one. This one's an acrylic one. And then I've also got my poppy one as well for Armour Sister, which again, I love. Um, this one I did put a green permanent marker, green alcohol marker, pro marker around the edges because it was just the MDF colour and I didn't like it. So, yeah, I did actually yeah, go around with a green marker and in the middle as well there, all around here and uh, just coloured it in the dark green to match in so that you're not seeing the um, wooden colour really. I don't like seeing that. I prefer to see a colour that just blends in. So you look at the actual design rather than the bit that's sticking out like a sore thumb, as it were. And I think that's it for now. So I have got some on the walls already as well. So once it's all put together and uh, I've got them all up, I will let you see. I'll do a little talk through and um, I must see if I can get some little lights out and things. I keep seeing little ghost lights and pumpkin lights. 
and uh, I did see those little owl lights when I went round the garden centre the other week if you saw that video so I may get some of those I don't know you'll just have to wait and see okay well i hope you've enjoyed this little look through just something a little bit different if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything yay <laughs> Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.